The plan for the day is to stud this track. I got 96 studs and uh, plan on putting them in today. Now the track's already installed and to make life easy on myself I'm going to, uh, first thing I'm going to do is remove this snow flap. I'll have to uh, drill out the rivets. Okay, I've got the uh, snow flap off. Gets me nice access to work here. Next thing I want to do is get the track off the ground so I can spin it and drill it. I don't have a snowmobile stand, but I do have a couple of jack stands I'll put on either side of this thing. Okay, that'll do it. Got my clearance. So I'm replacing a track that broke off last winter. Um, the easiest thing for me to do is just use the same stud pattern, except this time I'm going to go with 96. I'm not going to have uh, these outside ones on there. So, most important thing when you're studying your track is to make sure that you have uh, protective guys installed here, rails that'll stop your track, uh, your studs from going into your heat exchange, um, and. When you stud your track, you have to make sure that you place your studs so that they're not going to hit these. You want to be on either side of them. I got one there and one here. I took a piece of cardboard and I cut it to fit over each, over one, two, four sets of lugs. And, uh, and then I just place these holes in the same pattern as I had before because I already know that. Uh, this here will avoid my uh, rail guard up there. So you can buy these as well. They come with a bunch of more uh, holes on there for depending on how many uh, how many uh, studs you're going to put in. But uh, in my situation, it was just as easy to make my own template there. So I'm going to go ahead and mark all these holes. Um, Got a liquid paper pen here, just so it can show up on this black. It's all I could find. Now I'm going to spin this. I'm going to go around the whole track, make sure everything works out well before I do any drilling. <laughs> okay, I've marked out all the way around my track now. And uh, now it's time to start drilling. You want to drill dead center in between the lugs. I bought this, uh, you see that? Track cutter. It was 13 bucks, but uh, it uh, cuts through and leaves a real nice hole. Now we drill. So I finished drilling out all my holes. Nice clean cuts. My next step is to break out the ratchet set and uh, start putting these in. These studs here uh, use a torque head on uh, the stud backer on the stud and a uh, half inch uh, self-locking nut on the uh, on the side. So you got to make sure you get your stud pushed through good and firm. Put your backer on and half inch nut. You have two ratchets, one in the back, one in the front. There you go. Continue forth. That's two. 94 to go. Last two. You guys are lucky. You got to watch it in time lapse. But this took hours. So if you're not up for that, 
pay someone to do it. There we go. 96 studs. Ready to go.